All right, happening right now, a proposal to repeal a tax exemption on businesses in Kansas just failed. But with the state uh, facing a $290 million budget shortfall, the discussion is far from over. 41 Action News reporter Ali Hoxie is live in Olathe. And Ali, you spoke with businesses today about this tax. I did, Krista. They're telling me today they would be willing to pay the tax if that money went to schools, not the overall budget. You know, we pay rent, we pay, you know, other bills. It's not like we're just pocketing this kind of money. Crystal Gross owns Kansas Coffee Company in Olathe. She says she would give up the tax money her business saves to help area schools. Otherwise, not having the tax has helped her get her shop off the ground. If it's not, it's something that actually helps us out a lot by not having to pay that part of it. So it's kind of a catch-22, you know, if it's going to be to the schools or not. The feeling is shared across the street from Kansas Coffee at Kansas 4D Ultrasound. If we don't have the appropriate teacher ratio to child, what are we doing for our future? You've got to have a better future plan to get there. And if you're just going to work on the roads, find another way to do it. Now the Kansas House will take up the measure. A very similar bill is being pushed to go to a Senate vote as well. State Senator Greg Smith, who's sponsoring the bill on the Senate side, says the tax was only meant to help with business expenses, not eliminating the tax altogether. It turned into 100% nothing got taxed and that was never the intent of the bill. That's not what I voted for in 2012. Um, if it had been, I wouldn't have voted for it in 2012. What I voted for was simply the non-wage income wouldn't be taxed to help businesses grow. He maintains the revenue would have been higher if the bill did not eliminate the business tax altogether. Currently, Kansas needs to make up a $290 million budget gap. But closing the budget hole isn't what these small businesses want their tax money to go towards. Things just shouldn't be set in stone once they're voted upon. But again, small business, are we really going to be the ones that help contribute the most where they need it? I did speak with a representative with the Brownback administration today. They stood by eliminating that tax. Reporting live in Olathe, Allie Hoxie, 41 Action News.